So today was a pretty exciting day. We just finished up another reptile enclosure and this one is by far the biggest one we've done yet. This enclosure is eight feet long, four foot wide and three feet tall. It literally has its own trees inside of it. It also comes with a plethora of hiding places that these animals would find naturally, including stacks of bark, tin, leaves, grasses, all sorts of stuff. And at this point, you're probably wondering who in the world we're gonna put in here. Well, let me go ahead and introduce you. The snake that you're about to see was actually one of my first venomous reptiles. And she'll be able to go in here with a couple of other individuals of her same species that we've had for a while so that they can all enjoy this ridiculously naturalistic setup all by themselves. So this girl is an Eastern Copperhead, one of South Carolina's six venomous snake species. Now, believe it or not, they also account for the most venomous snake bites in the Southeast. And that has nothing to do with these animals' demeanor or them being aggressive or anything like that. The answer is actually a lot simpler than that. The way most people are bitten is unfortunate for the people and the snakes themselves because they accidentally get stepped on. And if you spent any time in the South, you know a lot of people around here like to go barefoot. So without arms or legs or claws or anything like that, the only way they have to defend themselves is their mouth. So the good news is one of the best ways you can stay safe here in the Southeast when it comes to venomous snakes is wear very sturdy footwear like leather boots, watch where you put your hands and always use a flashlight whenever you're walking outside at night. Now, if you'd like to know more about how we built this huge naturalistic enclosure, I just started a YouTube channel. You can find that in my bio on the Instagram icon. They are going to be posting really in-depth videos on how we do these enclosures to hopefully help you guys out too. So make sure to head over there and subscribe to the channel so you can be updated when I post those videos.